everyone my name is shorish gupta so today i am going to discuss these two questions which are appeared in the examination placement examination of accenture okay so the first question is uh, actually the story behind this question is there are two players player a and player b they are both playing the rock paper and scissor okay so what we need to cal calculate we need to calculate the winning move from the side of b player b okay so if the player a is choosing that uh, rock then winning move from the player b will be paper so that's the thing we need to call calculate so this is a very 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 much easy and basic program we need to use only the if fills nothing ex extra in this one and uh, before uh, explaining that code uh, code i would like to say that we didn't get that uh, by default template so we are using our own template so that but the logic behind this is will be the same okay so i am taking the user input from uh, the enter the move from a suppose like uh, it will be rock so i am calling a method here that is check and, and passing that string actually it's a string that rock or the paper or the scissor okay uh, passing that value through this method check and here it's checking that if m equals to rock then it will return paper it's it's actually the winning move from the side of uh, from the side of player b okay that's the thing i'm doing so this is a static method i have taken so that's the logic if there is paper then it will be scissor or either it's the scissor then it will be rock so that's the thing i have done nothing tough in this so i'm running the code okay so enter the move from player a from the side of player a so suppose i'm giving scissors so the winning move from the b will be rock okay so that's the common thing okay let me run again that code so suppose the move from the a is paper okay so the winning move from b is scissor so that's the thing only thing is here okay so this is the first code it's very much basic question and the second one is like i have given a uh, collection of songs representing a string s okay the, the string is representing a collection of songs where each character represents a song means every character of that uh, string is representing a, a, a an individual song so a playlist is a substring of the given string with exactly k number of songs okay so means whatever the string i uh, i have that s so the substring of that s is a uh, playlist okay and the length of the playlist is k okay so these are the user input here s and k so what we need to do like suppose alice the character here she wants to create a playlist that contains maximum number of her favorite song which is a i have already informed that uh, explained that every character in that string is representing a indiv an individual song so he suppose his favorite song is a so we need to check what is the uh means like here it's mentioned that she wants to create a playlist that contains maximum number of her favorite song which is a okay your task is to find and return an integer value representing the maximum number of favorite songs so we need the songs that she can get in a single playlist so we need to check that in which substring of that string we will get maximum number of that character a okay so let's go to the code so this is all also a normal coding the nothing special is in in this
so here i'm at first at first i'm taking the string a okay let me change this one this will be s and uh, yeah this is the k okay s and i need to change this one also i am checking changing for my reference and uh, yeah and this one also okay so and uh, in the next line i am uh, taking the input of k means the length of that uh, substring okay so i have taken a uh, static method here where i am passing that string and the value k which is the uh, length of that substring okay in that method i am initializing a integer variable int count and initializing a loop for for loop where i am starting that uh, in uh, the iterator i from 0 up to the length of that um, string is minus k means if the length of the initial string is 8 and k is 3 then it will be 5 okay in this way and here I am taking a long variable c and using a method filter method and uh, actually it uh, here whatever what i'm doing i'm using the substring method here from here i am taking that uh, particular substring extracting the particular substring from that string by using that substring dot cats dot filter actually i am using a stream api here stream uh, actually it is creating a stream or this dot cats method uh, creating a stream of that uh, those characters and from here i am filtering and here i have uses the lambda expression here so actually in the between it is it's filtering that uh, if it is uh, if the character is a or not okay so i'm uh, filtering here and here i am using dot count means how many times the a is present the character a is present in that uh, substring okay so that's the thing i'm doing here i'm counting that number and uh, i'm taking that number into a long variable c and here i have given an uh, if block here I'm typecasting that uh, variable C uh, to into integer int C if int C is greater than count the count value value right now is 0 then uh, if the sim value of C is greater than to count then uh, uh, the I am taking that uh, C uh, value of C into the variable count so in this way I am doing okay so in this way i'm um, just uh, running the loop and after that the i'm returning that value of count here okay so suppose let's run this code once okay so enter the string so suppose i'm I, i'm giving a string a b a c a okay so the length of the string is one two three four five okay and i'm entering the value of k it's three okay so it means what will be the output in our calculation it will be so it will check first a b a then b a c and a c a okay so in a b a the first substring in the first substring the number of a will be 2 in the second substring b a c the number of a is 1 and the third substring the number of uh, a occurrence of a is 3 a 2 sorry 2 a c a so as per our calculation the output should be 2 so let's check it and you can see that the maximum number is 2 so that's the logic i'm he using here if you don't know about stream then just google it 
you you will be able to know about the string api stream api okay so that's the basic thing is here so this is the code and please share us many few many few more questions that will be help us to describe us describe this question and it will also increase our knowledge too so thank you very much bye bye